Hi everyone. Um, my name is Kelly, and I'm Riley, and we're the Tutorial Girls. Girls. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to be talking about methyl ester synthesis. This is part um, three of one hundred uh, <laughs> plus <laughs> tutorials. <laughs> There's a lot of orgo we got to cover. So again. Thanks for watching. Lots of parts. Stick with us. We know it's going to be a long process. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. <laughs> subscribe, like, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter. <laughs> and Canvas. Canvas. My KSC. My, my KSC. Don't forget to email us with your questions. We'll answer all of them. We're both PCAs. Ex-PCA, PCA for current. She's going to yeah. PCA soon. <laughs> soon. Someday. She At works, some point. She, she's busy this semester. <laughs> So, again, sorry for that long introduction. Methyl ester synthesis. Would you like to kick us off, Riley? Uh, what is methyl ester synthesis, oh, well, Bobby? Methyl ester synthesis. It's funny you should ask because typically in methyl ester synthesis, you use diazomethane. And you use a, um, a reagent <laughs> called the diaz diazomethane in... <laughs> And you, you typically use a solvent, which is diethyl ether. Or ethyl acetate. Or ethyl acetate. That's right. For you common folk. So, uh, <laughs> would you like to read us this uh, list over here? Oh, yeah. So, there's uh, shorter reaction times and better yields than the uh, esterification, which previously we previously spoken mentioned. about. Right. Um, you can only form methyl esters using diazomethane, which could be a good thing. It probably is a good thing. It's we, probably not a bad thing. We like to um, be picky with our organic synthesis. Mm -hmm. So typically, um, we'll be using this uh, if we want better yields. And we usually like better yields. So, thanks for watching. This was uh, part, three part 3 of 100, 100 plus. plus videos. <laughs> Methyl ester synthesis. And we'll see you next time for uh, other parts in the past. Or future. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! Bye.